Earlier today, I gave you this patient and asked you if epinephrine is warranted in this patient. Let's talk about it. Okay, so let's talk about anaphylaxis. The way anaphylaxis creates such a crazy reaction is that when you introduce antibodies, and these antibodies are detected, and when these antibodies that your body thinks is some sort of invasion that it's not liking, then it's gonna create an immune response. Particularly for a few reasons, but the biggest piece is that it starts to have an issue with these mast cells. These mast cells start to get stimulated and irritated, which makes them want to create this immune response. And so when you have those antibodies there and the mast cells are activated, what happens is that we have a vessel dilation and we have vessel permeability. So so what happens in this particular case is that we think that there's a immune response that we need to react to and so it starts to shift fluid and immune cells into these extracellular spaces creating that edema as well as distribution of fluid to this area and so this is happening all over the body which leaves us with a significantly decreased amount of fluid inside the vessels themselves so what do we need to do well we need to give epinephrine what does epinephrine do well epinephrine is going to cause vessels vessel constriction, so it's going to constrict these vessels and cause a shutting of that system down. So remember, this is very much like sepsis in the fact that it's causing a distribution phase. So when we cause vessel constriction with epinephrine like we see here, we're going to at least keep whatever fluid we have in this area here, as well as closing the tank, which means that our blood pressure should go up and should improve. So that's why epinephrine is so important. It's also going to decrease the reactivity of these mast cells, meaning that we're not gonna have nearly as much of a fight to try and shift fluid Fluid out into this area. This area, this fluid that's here is not going to be shifted back per se, but we're at least stopping any excess fluid that's still inside the vessels to move out. And that is a big reason why epinephrine is such a benefit in these patients is simply because it's going to have these two effects that are going to immediately start to help the patient and start to reduce some of the symptoms and the immune response that they have.